What's going on guys, T2RX6 here, back for another Transformers review, and today we're taking a look at the Combiner Wars Optimus Prime. And uh, real quick, he comes with this little, it's a uh, cardboard card, um, yeah, very thick, just kind of feels not very good. It would have been nice if this was like that credit card plastic, but whatever, I don't do the card thing anyway. So this is Optimus, and he is once again a truck, albeit a truck missing a ton of paint apps. Um, some of the decisions they made on this toy are a little bit weird. Um, overall, I like the truck. I think it's a really cool truck. I wish they went the extra mile and put some of the paint apps here to at least make the windows look cohesive. Um, I can understand this one here, but this is all big solid red painted bit, and I'm not really sure why it wasn't just cast. I mean, it's even painted with a second layer of paint to put, like, rear windows on it, so I really, I don't understand why they went that route. Um, same goes for these guns. They are cast in red and then painted silver. Like, you had to do the wheels. Couldn't you just put the, the guns in black? That would have been fine. Um, the guns do form, like, kind of an engine that really makes no sense on here uh, when it sits off the back like that. Um, they can form together, and I do kind of like this feature that when it's in the box, it's kind of making this big, long gun, and they were carrying enough to make this little extension that goes right into the exhaust um, manifold of this engine block, so that kind of looks pretty cool, but the gun is just kind of huge and unwieldy and doesn't look good. And besides, this is Optimus Prime's G1 gun. What more would you really want for Optimus Prime? So, interesting accessories, but unnecessary. Of course, he rolls okay. He's a truck. Um, they just have the new style clipped in wheels, uh, not pegged in or anything, so makes it nice if you want to take them apart and add some extra paint apps yourself later on. Let's actually transform this guy. Transforming him, very simplistic. Uh, we'll start by popping the legs out of these little tabs here. Um, hold the little feet up and split this apart. The next thing to do is to get your finger in here and flip these panels on open like that. They tab in the back there so they can be a little bit difficult. Uh, grab the arms, split them apart, and flip them on open like so. Once we've got that, we can actually bring this ab swivel on down. So that'll pretty much let us stand our toy up now. The arms, you've got his swivel, so the front grill of the truck is here. And this is pretty interesting. The uh, way this is designed, there's not a whole ton of clearance, but it's like just the perfect amount to let this thing slide in. So that's going to be interesting if I do end up painting this to see how that's affected. But there we go. Um, you take this piece here and you tab it on into those, those weird holes on the side. So you got this. Again, we take this side here, flip it on around, and flip it around. Alright, sorry for the jump there, guys. I saw even with the raised camera, we were still going to be too low, so I had to raise it some more. Um, that's a good problem to have with Combiner Wars, uh, because things have been notoriously small lately. Anyway, Optimus Prime, probably the most interesting part is this little that this is. And you get a nice Optimus Prime head. It does tend to look a little bit tiny given the whole distance on the shoulders. Like I feel like like that, that looks pretty good um, if that were the total width. Um, but with this, it does look very tiny in the middle. Uh, the back doesn't look super great. Um, all I did for this was instead of having it folded up like that is fold this in and uh, try to find a way to get this up in there to kind of get it out of the way. Um, yeah, so it's Optimus. And he is okay. He's got definitely got some long arms here as you can see going all the way down to his knees. A definite monkey man to uh, hail back to my good buddy skull face there. Um, let's give him this, this combined gun here just so you can see like, I'm sorry, it's, it's pretty ridiculous looking. Uh, if you're going to give them the two guns, you might as well just break them up like this. 
So let's talk articulation. The head here is on, I believe, a ball joint. Uh, it definitely has them up and down, but due to the big thick neck there and the way it's set on the ball joint, you don't get a whole ton of motion. Of course, you do get the 360. Uh, arms here are interesting. Um, they swivel 180 at that shoulder piece and they go up and down like this. I do find that sometimes moving them, they do end up popping out of their tabbed in spot. Um, you saw the the elbow here, it's double jointed, so uh, decent range of motion. It is limited by the width of the, uh, I guess the bicep you'd consider it, um, and the bicep does have a swivel. The hands have nothing except this up and down motion on them, which is for the combined mode. The waist does swivel, no ratchet, so it's pretty free to spin around, which I don't really like. I wish there was a ratchet tooth in there. And then we get to the 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 legs, and this seems to be a problem that Combiner Wars seems to have. Uh, when I do, probably next week I'll do Megatron, um, you'll see this issue. But So you got good range of motion there, uh, good knee, uh, knee swivel here which works just fine for me, and the toe here. Now, the problem is, this is how his legs sit, and we'll one click these ratchets, and like, there's such heavy ratchets that one click out just makes it really awkward, like, I don't know, like, they're almost worthless to me because they're so thick. Um, I assume it's because of the combined mode, but, uh, yeah, it's definitely an issue to me that I'm not a big fan of. But overall, it's not a bad Optimus Prime, especially when you keep his arms up so he's not monkey manning it. Um, I do I do find myself enjoying this Optimus, I think, more than some of the other people who I've seen have them. And uh, with one click and a little bit of working with the, the knees and stuff, like, he's not so bad. He's just... I think the, the uh, Classics Voyager Optimus Prime is actually a better Optimus than this, though. Alright, so let's get Optimus back to his truck mode. We'll start by putting that away. We'll flip the arms on around, like so. So the grills are facing the front. Then uh, we'll take this blue piece out and just kind of fold it up here. Uh, well, we'll fold it to the back like that, I should say. Now take that ab crunch and kind of bring it all the way up and bring his feet on down so they fit into the red piece. You can now fold this up. This gives us all the clearance to finish the hands here. So we'll go ahead and we'll rotate these so we finish the back of the truck. And we'll bring that on in like so. Rotate it around to finish the truck. Bring it around. Once we have this, we can kind of clip all of this front mess together, just like so. Uh, take your panels here, flip them on up, and plug them into those side tabs here. And then take these legs, fold the toes up, fold them up like this, peg them together, and now you want to get this little tab underneath this little red piece here to hold it in place on both sides and there we go and Optimus is back as a truck very easy I like that transformation alright so let's get Optimus here to his torso mode here um, unfortunately I don't have any limbs to show off uh, how it works with me um, I only have Alpha Bravo so far but once we get more limbs don't worry I'll show you what a combined Optimus would look like, but we start by putting his head away. Um, next thing we're going to do, we'll twist the body, so the uh, crotch piece is in the back here, and then we'll also flip these arms around, so like we're going back to truck mode, and you see this little tab here, it goes right into that little slot right up here. Um, can be a little bit tough to do because of the way the uh, body pieces kind of fit together but if you kind of mess around with it at some point it should just clip right in just like that and then we'll take this 
and we'll put his fist back like that. So again, for the other side, flip this around, uh, find the right way to line everything up, and clip it on in, and drop this on down. So there's probably the majority of what we need to do. The next thing is come around to the front here, bring these legs like one or two clicks out, uh, whichever one fits your sensibilities better, and bring this piece up, and you'll see it's got this little slot here, and it has to go into that tab there, so kind of adjust the knee until you can make that happen. It's not very difficult. Uh, it's just a matter of finding the right position on this to make that tab in, like so. These feet just kind of stay like that. I gotta say, the the way the combiner gimmick works to just kind of push something up and then in and it locks in place is pretty simplistic and nice. It's definitely a step above their, you know, their previous Energon port or uh, what that Bruticus had going on. So now we open up this chest and this goes to show again why did they waste paint budget making this r red because check out what's on the inside. More red. We could have just cast it in red and saved two layers of paint on this at least. Um, I don't understand. Um, bring up his head here just like so and then you take this crotch piece you kind of just fold it up like that. And there we go. We've got our Optimus Prime in his combiner mode. And I gotta say, this thing's pretty ugly. Um, these clips right here are intended to hold um, one of the Legends guys uh, to make like a chest plate on him. Um, yeah, I don't know. The head here really just doesn't do much for me. I guess it's kind of cool. Uh, I do have aspirations of making like a... Uh, I forget what the Energon uh, Optimus Prime was called when he was combined, but this is the vibe I kind of get from it, especially with the chest and the way this opens. Um, I don't particularly think this looks good when it's closed. Um, some people seem to do that for this or Motormaster, and it is just way too bulky for me, so um, definitely has to be open with some kind of chest piece here. Uh, cool, I guess, Matrix type detail in there. Um, I could see that totally being blue with some blue light shooting out, basically. So yeah, um, this is the combined mode. It is certainly something. Uh, I don't know how deep into Combiner Wars I plan on getting. Um, I definitely think Optimus is best for his robot and truck mode and not necessarily this mode. So this is T2RX6. I hope you guys enjoyed the review, and I'll see you next time.